instantly warm up is a scam and believe it or not it's actually killing your deliverability you think you're warming up your inbox but trust me you're not you're just sending fake emails like do you fancy a coffee or lunch tomorrow to gmail inboxes that are already full so your sending's getting delayed which is really hurting your deliverability on top of that these accounts have already been flagged by google do you think google and microsoft don't know what you're doing they have every idea of what you're doing and they do not like it so i've built a new system one that is probably going to take a bit of time for you to get used to but it's one that sends real cold emails as your warm-up emails and i truly believe that in 2025 this is going to be the start of the future of cold email so let me walk you through it so imagine this right you've just joined a new football team or a soccer team or whatever to you americans um, and you're trying to earn the manager's trust or the coach's trust. But instead of, you know, playing a real game and showing your actual skills, you just pass the ball back and forth with your teammates in private. So no real match, no real test, no actual pressure. That's what instant needs warm up is like. Okay. It doesn't fool the crowd or Google or Microsoft because it's not a real game. It's fake practice. You with me? No one gets impressed by that. No one thinks you're a good player just because you're you're passing it around. Do you see what I'm saying? This is what Instantly's warm-up is like. It's like you're passing the ball back and forward to Instantly's own warm-up pool to fake Gmail inboxes. You're just passing the, the ball back and forth. You're sending emails back and forth that are really fake as well, like fancy a coffee or that sounds interesting. Nothing like your actual cold emails would sound. And that's the problem. That's why you're not earning the manager's trust. You're not earning Google or Microsoft's trust because one, a lot of Instantly's warm-up pool are already, their inboxes are already full, right? And a lot of you can't see this because you'll use resellers, right? You'll use the likes of MailScale or you'll buy your domains and inboxes through instantly. So you have no actual access to the inboxes. But any of you who have access to the inboxes will understand that the emails that you see going back and forward are not good. And a lot of you who follow my um, email infrastructure, specifically with SparkPost, I can see the events. So that is basically every single email that gets sent. Now, what started happening, I was getting a load of delays excuse me so essentially um emails were getting delayed um the spot post would, would try to deliver the email but there was a delay and i looked into it more and it was just consistently getting delayed and i kept looking into it and it would say the the inbox is full so instantly aren't deleting the memory or the they aren't automatically deleting the data that is in the inboxes that's causing a delay, which is no good for Google or Microsoft. So that's number one. They're getting their full. Number two is that these Gmail accounts they instantly use have already been flagged multiple times. So a lot of them actually bounce. And as you know, if you know anything about cold email, bounces for your emails are not good. You will not get trust. That does not mimic human-like sending. Google and Microsoft hate cold emailers. They do everything they possibly can to stop people cold emailing. They don't want their users getting inundated with cold emails that are potentially not even relevant for them because a lot of cold email is linked with spam, okay? Now, if you followed me, you understand that we're not spammers. Anyone that is in my school community or uses my infrastructure or sends the type of emails that I send, you'll understand that it's not spammy. It is relevant to that person. And that's where cold email should be. But thanks to tools like Instantly, which Instantly is a great tool, I'm not knocking it. People now send a lot of generic emails to a vast amount of people. And that is spam you know it's not one-to-one -one, it's not human-like and that's what google and microsoft look for they look for emails that are human-like they aren't particularly they are against cold email but if you're sending emails that is relevant to that person then that's absolutely fine and if you also include a clear opt-out like look i won't follow up if you don't want me to that's great as well in google and microsoft will accept that right i'm going down the rabbit hole but what I'm trying to say is um, warm up is all about building a good reputation. And um, the second one was you look that the rim boxes have already been flagged by Google, meaning if you're sending to them, 
that is not going to help your deliverability at all. A lot of people will just like to see the 90 to 100% health score on instantly, but realistically, it's not actually at that score. The third problem is the type of emails that it's sending out. If you've ever seen the emails as well, it has a big code at the top to tell that it's an instantly... Um, uh, like the subject line will be fancy a chat and then it will be QX12745244, you know what I mean, something like that, um, which obviously isn't human-like at all. And then the emails that they're sending back and forth with your cold email inboxes just aren't human-like at all. So you do that, it consistently sends 24-7 as well. It's not like it's a specific time. It sends 24-7 and then you're ready to send cold emails. You start sending 30 a day of your actual cold emails. It's no wonder in two weeks you start landing in spam because you haven't really garnered any type of trust with Google or Microsoft, you've actually hurt <laughs> your reputation because they know what you're doing. They're not dumb. Google and Microsoft aren't dumb, right? It's pretty obvious that they understand what you're doing and the tools that you're using to do that. Now, another example is that it's obvious that instant ease isn't the best is if you actually go with a dedicated warm-up tool like warmy.io or email warm-up.com i don't know i actually don't know if that's a it probably is a tool but um it's it's like double the price triple the price of what instant ease whole service costs right their hyper growth plan it's like 100 200 dollars to warm up your inboxes and they do it probably the right way um, whereas instant needs doesn't, and it's not helping. Now I think about it as well. These warm up emails are also on their own IP. They'll all be on the same IP. They'll literally just have thousands of inboxes on a specific IP. Now imagine all these, or, or like multiple IPs, right? Now imagine all you guys, including myself, um, any instantly person who uses the warm up feature, are all sending cold emails to these inboxes that are on that specific IP where all these inboxes are full and a lot of them have been flagged by um, Google, it's not going to do you any good. If you're sending emails to that specific IP, Google and Microsoft are going to again say, look, this IP isn't, hasn't got the best reputation and they're sending to it. Let's have another look into it. Oh, look how fake these emails are. It's just not going to do anything any good. There's no natural behavior to Emails are getting sent 24-7, whereas realistically they should be getting sent, you know, business hours, 9 till 6 p.m., something like that. And yeah, Instantly's warm-up is just completely robotic, non-human-like and fake. And if you want to do well in cold email, you have to mimic human-like sending and human-like behavior. So what have I been doing um, to make it a little better for myself. Now, as you guys all know, I use a dedicated IP, so I'm not just warming in boxes or domains, I'm warming up a, a dedicated IP as well. I've got a two, so one has been warmed up well now for the past six months or so through sending the types of emails that I do send, but there's another one that is not warmed up at all, and I'm gonna start warming it up now with this new, uh, or I have already started warming it up with this new, um, better warm up method that, that I've thought of. So and this is gonna to a lot of you this is gonna um sound crazy it's gonna sound it's, it's completely against what is um practiced and preached by a lot of people but i'm gonna now warm up my inboxes my domains and my ip by sending actual cold emails yes you heard that right actual cold emails it's going to be the only emails i'm going to send now obviously that doesn't mean i'm going to go 30 emails a day straight from the start i'm actually going to start off with one or two and then build it up now the thing is i have a dedicated rp with spark post and you can auto warm that up so stage one is like 200 emails a day stage two is 400 stage three is 800 i think it just doubles like that and that's how many you can send per day any that go over go into a shared ip which isn't good for your deliverability because um spark posts don't really allow well no one no there's no there's no tool out there that even if they say it's for cold email it's for cold email every single one will have fine print saying i don't know let's have a look at mail scales quickly so here's mail scale um they essentially allow you to purchase domains and to set up inboxes all through their infrastructure it's literally the same as what i've done myself and i do it myself for a fraction of the price that they cut that they um 
send. I saw a video that they did the other day where they were showing, you know, that they're literally just an SMTP. They don't use Google or Microsoft. They're just an SMTP and they allow you to set up multiple inboxes, which is the exact same as what I do. So I should maybe create a SaaS. <laughs> um, but you can see the pricing of it for 50 inboxes. Um, you want to go with the business, which is 95 a month. Oh, that's how many meetings, right? So look at the price of that, 249 a month, 119 a month, and that allows you to have 50 inboxes, right? I can set up, um, un well, unlimited, unlimited inboxes for 75 a month, so it's really cheaper. Anyway, um, let's have a look. There's got to be some fine print somewhere. So it says here, deliverability guarantee, but realistically... That's only, they told me that's only for warm up. So it's not like you're going to get that um, once you actually start sending emails. Here you go. It's the acceptable use policy. Even a dedicated cold emailing business or SaaS in this case, they still have to sort of acknowledge that cold emailing isn't prohibited and that it just basically goes to show everything that I teach in terms of good sending practices and how to basically anti-spam so yeah the, the best way really to actually in 2025 and beyond now i think to garner a good type of sending reputation is to send real cold emails during real business hours ones that actually look real okay so ones that are hyper personalized using my hyper personalized system from head to toe um ones with a you know a really easy offer to say yes to non-salesy things that just say look you know, reply to this or a really good offer, something like that, that you can include in the sort of warm up stage. Um, so Google and Outlook can can look at these and say, th this looks real. This looks like it was sent by a real person. It behaves naturally. So this is going to earn our trust. And, you know, you can just ramp it up over time, start very small. And the good thing about Spark Post is that it will only progress you to the next stage once 90% of your sending is happy. So no bounces, no delays, you know, 90% of your um, emails are getting delivered. It will progress you to the next stage and you can carry on like that. So obviously this sounds pretty um new to you all but be new to you all and it's going to sound pretty annoying because you're going to have to get a camp you have to put 2,000 leads into a campaign hyper personalized and every single day you're going to have to increment by one um you're going to have to change the daily limit to one then two then three and it's not going to be good um or fun for you at all i'll just show you an example of how that will look so i've got all my email accounts here obviously warm up is disabled and every single day, once it's send an email, uh, a lim once it send an email, I'm gonna have to change it to two. Um, don't have to do it one by one. To be fair, you can as long as you're using them all. Just go like this: bulk settings and change the campaign limit to two or three, and carry on like that. But realistically, being automators, we want to automate the process as um, much as we can. So I've created this automation, which will literally do it for me personally using my email infrastructure now as you guys will know i use spark post i have a dedicated ip on there which really helps my deliverability it's the reason i land in so many inboxes get so many meetings um etc etc no one else can ruin my deliverability it's my own dedicated ip that's warmed up using my cold emails the types of emails that i send so um it's warmed up for me which is great anyway Every single day, what this will do, it will get the mailboxes from a Google Sheets. So I've got all 140 in a Google Sheets. It will get the spot post IP warm up status. So as you know, it's on its own, it's in its own uh, IP stage. And every day it will see what stage it's in. If it's in stage one, it will process that and say, okay, look, we're going to have to process each mailbox. And if we need to update it, then it will go true and it will go over here and every single email uh, inbox it will loop over them get the account details and up don't update those daily limits to two so let's say we go into stage four which is 2000 emails a day and i've got 140 inboxes it will cleverly do the maths here understand which stage each inbox is in um or how many it will do the math in terms of the stage we're in and the amount of emails we can send per inbox and it will go and change 
the um the limit that can be sent with those inboxes and then it will update it in a google sheets and log in another google Sheets. so i've got everything logged and ready and then at the end it will do a summary report and every morning at about 8 a.m i get a pretty cool summary report i'll see if i can show it to you there we go No, you can't see, but I get a, a, a summary report basically just saying a warm up process update, what stage I'm in, what the percentage of stage capacity I'm at, the amount of inboxes I've got, the new volume, how much it's increased by, et cetera, et cetera. And it will just send me that to my phone every morning so I understand which warm up stage I am in. And if you were to add any new inboxes in, say you bought another two domains or three or four or five domains because you wanted to scale and you put them into the Google Sheets, it will understand that that is a new inbox. That's their new domains, their new inboxes, and it will actually prioritize those new inboxes. It will go to a maximum of 30 once it's complete and that every inbox is on 30 emails a day it will disable the automation and i can actually have them ready to send out cold emails at scale at 30 a day in an actual real campaign so that's the system um and that's the new walmart method that i'm using obviously due to the nature of or as i should say due to the amount of work that was put in to that automation i can't really i don't think it would be fair to just blast it out to everyone on the internet so it's only really available to people in my school community but yeah as you can see real cold emails it's going to be real engagement people that are getting back to me because the response rate on hyper personalized emails is really good so it's going to really help the trust and reputation of your inboxes it's real warm-up it's not going to be any fake promises or fake warm-up or fake conversations fake let's go have a coffee <laughs> um it's not yeah it, it's it's smarter it's safer the new warm-up is it's um it's more scalable with the automation and it actually works you know it's it's something that is going to really build trust and imagine if when you start sending actual campaign emails google and microsoft understand that they're the type of emails that you send and they're just going to put you all into the inbox pretty much but i understand if you want if this is too technical and you want to stay on instant these warm up but i really don't think it's going to do you any good in the long run it's not warming up your inboxes you i know it's hard this will be hard to get your head around but i think you just need to ask yourself is this really is this really preparing your inboxes or is it just giving you false confidence if that makes sense so all my clients this is the um structure and strategy i'm going to be using for them i'm using it for myself people in the school community are using it and i suppose if you have found this valuable in any way drop it a like tom give me a comment i know you'll have some questions so i'll reply to every single comment if you want to drop a comment and and uh ask any questions i'll help you with it but yeah essentially stop faking your warm-up start sending real ones and you'll be good to go but thanks for watching and take care